Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here on my channel today. We're going to be going over a very nice free piano VST I've discovered last night that I think is absolutely incredible. It sounds super rich and detailed. Getting straight into it, this is known as the Monastery Grand. It is a piano offered by Melda Production. As I mentioned, it's completely free and you can go ahead and grab this in the description below. But before I talk any more about it, I'm going to show you exactly what it sounds like. So here's a track I started with it yesterday. This is just a little brief pattern I made. Here's the tone we got going here. Just a short little thing I put together. If we take off the processing so you could hear what it sounds like pretty much right out of the box, it would sound like this. Basically, I've just put on some very big compressors, like gain reduction, some OTT on there, and then tamed it with an EQ just to make it a little brighter and suitable for the track specifically I was working on, which makes it again sound like that. But let's go ahead and open it so you can see what it would sound like right when you first open it and some of the settings we have for it. So the way you use this, they do offer a plugin known as M Sound Factory. This gives you a whole bunch of other sounds as well, not just this piano. And again, this is free as well. All of this is free. But if you install it correctly, you just type in the name here and double click it to open it up. And as I say, this is what it will sound like from the beginning. Something like that. But we do have a few settings that we could go ahead and change. One of the most important one is mics here. You see, it does have A selected as default. Sounds like that. You can mix and match these, which is really cool, but like B sounds like this. And C sounds like this. And as I say, you can mix and match them. If you wanted them all on, you could do that. which is really cool. You can adjust the width if you want it to be entirely mono versus extra wide. I do kind of like it a little bit just to the left of center there. And color, this one's really important as well. If you put it soft, obviously you get a very soft tone versus hard. And again, you can mix and match, choose what you want. This is obviously dependent on the track you're making, but this is an incredible sound for completely free. You could also edit bass if you want less or more of that. Body. This is kind of like EQ, or probably just is EQ, but air is very nice as well if you want to get some more tops going. And you could also add a harmony, which I thought was super cool. So if I just hit one note, just one note, not even hitting anything else, you're obviously getting multiple with that because you could add in harmonies, which is a super cool feature as well. This one is actually my personal favorite because it's literally just an octave. I do have a fairly large MIDI keyboard, but it's not in my room right now, so the one I use when I'm making music is quite small. And this allows me to, you know, basically just have some free extra keys if I wanted to play a top line like that. That with some processing is really nice, you could use it as a cool lead. So this is super great for like those very bright sounding things that you might want to go for. I know a lot of other plugins kind of focus on something a little more soft and chill, but this is a sound I quite like using in my tracks. And as you see, if I go back to that pattern again, like this sounds huge. That's a big piano for completely free. And again, this is just something I threw together really quickly. If I had my bigger keyboard, I'd be able to play something much better than that. But unfortunately, it's not in here right now. But as I say, this is completely free. You should absolutely go and download it. Link is in the description. Very easy to install as well. You just download this instead, M Sound Factory, and it actually has the ability built into this to just select this and install it. There is a manual installation, but I would recommend just doing it this way. It is much easier. But I hope this video has helped you out. This is a rather short one. Just wanted to make a video on this because, as I say, last night I was looking for some plugins, came across this one, and was really impressed by how it sounded. But drop a like if this helped you out, and subscribe for more content in the future, and I will catch you in the next video.